Go! Welcome back to Game Slash. Today, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different from the beginning because uh, I have some, um, I have some, uh, we have some uh, review to do that uh, we are inclined to do, but also I really want to do it because it's. Um, I'm currently for my recording. I'm currently using XSplit. Uh, before I used Fraps. And uh, the compa comparison is really big when it comes to the difference between these two recording programs. I'm gonna is, it, give it, is it visible in our recordings? It's, yeah, it is sort of visible because uh, when it can come to fraps, you can only have like you can split them to four gigabytes every four gigabyte, or you can not split them at all, and then they will become they will become laggy or bad or the, the footage will be like unclean at, at all. Um, so, for example, I'm gonna give you a really the best example here. If you record 40 seconds of fraps and store it, that will be 4 gigabytes. But if you use XSplit, 8 minutes of XSplit will be 400 megabytes. Holy shit. That is holy shit. That, that, you don't need that much disk sp uh, place, space, disk space at all to do this. Are you sure about this? <laughs> it sounds a little bit uh, good to be true. One terabyte is yeah, that's all you need, I guess. It's you can you have so much foot you have so much footage that you can store. Yeah, it's like one video. We are taking 15 minutes, right? That would be. 800 megabytes, that's one video. Shit, that's pretty good. Yeah, and with XSplit, you can choose where you want to... Um, you can choose exactly how big you want for files to be. So it will make it a lot easier for you to edit videos and keep everything in systematic order. Like, I, when I was editing, I had to edit 7 or 8 clips of fraps on 4 gigs. And uh, with with XSplit, I, I can I can have three clips, and I know that this is one episode. That's that's all I need. I need three clips, and and I will easily know uh, know where the order is, and I will easily know what clips I've recently used. So that's pretty nice. It's perfect. Any other stuff about XSplit? Um, it requires less frames, sort of. It uh, doesn't take that much, uh, like, uh, system... Memory? Memory, yeah. It takes the same frames, sort of, but it's... I've tested with bro both fraps and XSplit, and uh, XSplit takes exactly what it needs, not nothing more. And the, the frames are pretty stable as well. Yeah, as far as, no, as far as I know, people getting into YouTube and stuff are usually starting with fraps. Yeah. And um, I guess XSplit is the next step. Then. Yeah, this is the this is the next level. This is um, this is the GoPro. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's so good, and like your footage will be perfect. Nice. Yeah. So, guys, if you want a really good uh, systematic, ordered, non-consuming software. To record your videos with, you can use XSplit. And XSplit can uh, take videos of uh, we have your webcam and film you as well, right? Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. don't have to do any hocus pocus. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I can say that, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Well, that's it for the for our uh, XSplit review. At that. So, I'm just saying. Get it. It's totally worth it. Nice. Okay.